Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Friday, March 19th, 2021. As you get up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day, commit this day to Him, use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord, and use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're out and about today, take some time to give God praise, because He is worthy of our praise, He is worthy of our worship, He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter number 3. And it's verse number 7. The scripture says, For yourselves know how ye ought to follow us, for we have behaved not ourselves disorderly among you. Friends, here at the end of Second Thessalonians, the second letter to the church at Thessalonica, Paul has given them some examples and appealing to them that they pray and that they labor for the Lord, that they spend time in prayer, constantly in prayer, and spending time doing the work of the Lord. And Paul makes a pretty bold statement here in verse 7, and he's made the statement elsewhere in his letters um, similar to this, when he says, For yourselves know how ye ought to follow us. Paul's telling them to follow him, but not follow him as a replacement for the Lord Jesus Christ. Because remember, this church at Thessalonica and most of the other letters that he wrote was to churches that were Gentiles, that were not Jews, that were not part of the the first coming of Jesus. Many of them places didn't didn't see Jesus, didn't see the miracles he did. So therefore they had to rely on a guy like Paul to come along and to teach them the things of God. So when Paul's telling them to follow him, he's not saying follow me I am your Messiah. Instead, he say, follow me. I am your example. And likewise, in our world today, we need to be the examples to a lost and a hurting world. In fact, in the book of 1 Timothy, chapter number 4, and verse number 12, Paul says to Timothy, Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Be the example. Because you may be the only example that somebody sees of Jesus or of a Christian. So as you go out and you start this brand new day, think about the the thing of being an example and encourage somebody to follow Jesus today. Be the example that somebody that never seen Jesus before can see Jesus in you. Think about that as you go through this day and remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you and then share that word with someone today to have a blessed day. (laughs) 